going to talk about revision. February 1st is going to make 24 years since I've come to America. I've been back in LA since 2022. And, you know, we're leaving from one pandemic into another pandemic because 2023 was well you know i mean it's my first one so i don't know about the others but it was a bad year for creators filmmakers in la you know so a lot of us who made it through last year are playing catch up this year in many ways in many ways you know work finance whatever it is now the other day i was doing a video a promo video for dale elliott you know you're supposed to know him famous jamaican comedian and he was here we're doing you know simple lighting come out from the dark into the into the light type business boom bang and when he was leaving he said to me yo you know what people slacking on people slacking on social media and you know when he said that i start screwing because i'm like oh you like social media business you know I don't really like a social media thing. But over a year now, I was supposed to restart back my YouTube channel. Because I did do some YouTube thing when I was in college, but it wasn't serious. It was just like, you know, some, some things, some things. And I won't remove them. You can go back and pre them and see what I have done. <laughs> I won't remove them. Because I like people to see um, where you're coming from and how you develop and you know what I mean? So I, I will be breaking down older things that I've done. And I know a lot of people say your best work is your last work, but it's also good to, to make people see where you're coming from. Now, back to the story. He said, yeah, man, people sleeping on social media, if people would take advantage of social media, they will make money or whatever it is. You know what I mean? And then it just it, it clicked because I was like, hold on then. So deal, I mean, deal a divine from a long time and many things. So deal deal you know what i mean him, him up there with the social you know what i mean him love that something that I, that I him for just jump on the camera and to you know i had to kind of inhale exhale a million times before i can even start this this recording as a matter of fact it's 2 48 in the morning now it take a little bit more for some people for jump on this and you know do this social media or this YouTube thing. So get back to what I'm saying. And him said that now it, it, it kind of, you know, put me on my toes and I like, hold on there. If, if I don't even want to do TikTok or a whole heap Instagram posting, I can do what I originally wanted to do which was YouTube. I'll go back into it. So I was like, yeah. Plus, you know, since the strike, we have had a lot of free time, a lot of free time. And sometimes I just feel like I'm not doing anything with myself. You know what I mean? And I believe it's the best time to take advantage of that doing nothing with yourself time and you know learn things or just shoot things or 
do things that keep your blood flowing, keep the muscle active, you know, work the filmmaker muscle, you know, then sit down and sleep and get up and cry about how oh, there's no work and there's no this and that. Best thing to do is just do something with yourself. So, you know, that kind of got me activated. And to be honest, the you day, the you day is an inspirational brother because what I'm do right now at his age, I think I'm at 26, 25, 26, and he's doing it on his own too. It's really good, really good thing. I'm do a really good thing. So, what it teach me is I need to do something else with myself. Um, because I just come back. I could say I could I could say I just come back, twenty twenty two. I just come back, and you know I mean I wasn't already in I was in the industry kind of. But not that much. And then I come back and I'm not in the industry. Because the thing with LA is every time you leave LA, unless you're just leaving for a week or a month or something, and people already know you. You can lose all your contacts because people think you're not here. You know what I mean? And I believe it's the same thing for Jamaica too. Okay, if I'm supposed to go back to Jamaica and say, yo, more get some work, people won't know I'm here. I'm there. They would just think, Oh, my dear foreign. I mean, I mean foreign. So, you know, you come back here and you're, you're, you're trying to hit the ground running, but it's not that easy. You know what I mean? Especially when you come back and you're trying to convert over back into, not even convert, convert back over into, but convert into what you actually want to do. Like, I'm usually an AC, assistant cinematographer and first or second, mostly first. And now I want to just focus on cinematography, DP, and it's just, it's not easy because, you know, you have to make money and people expect if you want to make money, it's best to just do something we're good at to make money and then take the half time to do what you really want to do until you can fully go over into it. But I, I've been doing a scene before and during I was in Jamaica. So I'm not interested in a scene that much anymore. I, I can do it, but I'm not interested in doing it because that's one of the pitfalls of filmmaking is where you get good at something and people keep calling you for that one thing and it's not what you want to do. So, I'm focusing now. Luckily, when I came back, I got a short film. And then, and the short film. And then last year, I did two short films for myself and, and a music video, right? None of those are paid, those are just things to keep the muscle moving, the muscle active. Now, the, one of the biggest thing is this. Um, people always say, be on your purpose. Do this, do that. But what happened when you are on your purpose? and you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're actually focused and you're doing all the right things. What is, what else is there for you to do? Then get frustrated, you know? And I do get frustrated a lot of the times, but then I go, last year, the industry shut down. So I can't be, I can't be mad. It's just like, okay, the industry shut down. I can't do anything about it. I just have to live with it. But 
I can use the free time that I have to do things, you know. And luckily, I use that to shoot some some shorts and do the music video. And even help out a friend that came here and shot a film, you know. I use the time wisely as best as possible. But, you know, it still gets irritating because... You see, you see where you need to be. And even after the strike, you're not going to be there because you're, you're just coming back and you have to get into the industry and people have to know you again and you have to work your way back up. So even when even when you get good or you know what you need to do, it's still just that block of needing to get there, you know. So what I did was I reached out to a bunch of DPs and so on and people that I've met and I've grabbed a few mentors, you know what I mean? Um, and a few people that have brought me onto things, you know. And earlier this this year, the new year after the new year, I call them and show them my appreciation and tell them thanks. Uh, who don't answer the phone yet? Haven't answered the phone yet, but I tell them thanks and say, yo, I really appreciate you bringing me on on the set, you know, because what I need is the experience, because I know to do. A lot of things. I understand how to do a lot of things. But I'm not doing it on a certain scale. And that's the biggest thing when it comes to working in the film industry and working in LA. Is you can do things on an indie scale or with your friends all the time. But if you were to get a certain budget, can you actually use that budget or... Can you actually create a, a product that look like that budget? And that's one of the biggest, scariest things for me because I've not worked with much budgets other than short films, you know? So, you know, I have friends that brought me on a, a commercial and are going to camera test with a wall, with a, um, we shot in the park and then we shot on the the LED wall and then they cut them together to see if you could tell a difference. You know, did that, um, you know, when other places did lens tests, all kind of business. And, you know, all of this is keeping you parallel to what you want to do or what you are doing but at the same time it's, you're going forward but you're not going up you know going forward but not going up so yeah we have to make a, a revision to to either what I'm doing or take another path to what I what I'm doing, and um, I believe getting back into this YouTube thing. I don't want to be an influencer, and please do not be influenced. All right, I don't want to be an influencer, but what I want to do is come on here and you know talk about certain things. A lot of things that I'm going to do is probably going to be around filmmaking around the industry right or around my work and what i am doing but it's not gonna be around any anything else you know what i mean because i don't i'm not interested in none of them other things i just focus on what i want to to get at which is the filmmaking part there's, there's um, many ways to go about it. 
there's many ways to go about it um i can ac and get back into um into people's eyes and you know start saying yeah dp2 or i can say i'm a dp but it's gonna take me longer to get into into people's you know eyes on people's radar you know and also i can use this and do things and people can go oh you do that oh you do that and it you know so create work for you to get work which is one of the biggest things in la or not in la in the film industry create work to get work do spec work do all of these things commercials and whatever proof of concept films or whatever it is but you have to do these things to get you the work and to make your blood flow and to work your muscles your film muscles because it's not it's not one of those things where if, if you don't use it you lose it but I have a few mentors now so you know so they're, they're pretty they're pretty militant yo they actually annoy me the way they're they're militant but that's that, that's what it is you know what I mean? Because I prefer, I prefer to learn and be and be annoyed than not doing anything alert at all and not learning. Because if I'm not learning, I I could get very um irritable. If I'm not doing anything, I could get very irritable. I can get very anxious. I can get anxiety and all these things. You know. So it's always good for me to keep moving, learning, you know what I mean? Be on top of things, you know what I mean? So this, this new year, consistency. I have to do consistency when it comes to this thing right here. It's not going to be easy is not going to be easy but I have to do it I have to do it um yeah as I say keep on it keep find your purpose if you don't have a purpose already if you don't know what your purpose is find your purpose um keep on it or do your best to keep on it you know what I mean? Um, and I will say, try it. You can find excuses easily. Very easy if you're looking for it. Very easy. And all you're doing is procrastinating. And you already know what procrastinating is like. You know what I mean? You're just screwing yourself. Because every time you go to bed and you wake up, you're going to remember it. Every time you're driving or walking, you're going to remember it. And I don't want to remember this old YouTube thing. <laughs> so, so, I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Best to start it and continue. I try my best to continue then not to start it at all. You know? Is that... Um, as I say, I have all the videos already. You can go watch them. And you can go comment or do anything you want to do. Find fun in it. Make fun of me. It's all good. You know what I mean? I'm not going to take it on because, you know, growing. Um... I am not going to tell you to like, share, or subscribe. <laughs> I am not. Just have fun. Forward. 
when you can, that means in Jamaica too. Come here when you can, relax, chill, if you have something that I'm doing where you can learn from, you learn from it. You're here for the image breakdown, and I break down the images from my Instagram. That's good, you know what I mean? Whatever I'm doing, I'm breaking down a film that I shot or music video, whatever. You're here for that, that's beautiful. Just relax yourself, chill, and just, you know what I mean? Pre-editing them.